we get to meet thousands of amazing people every year. And among my favorite is Thelma Turner. For the past 30 years, she quietly fed thousands every year at Thanksgiving. An inspirational woman. Now, she died on Saturday, and today we remember her legacy. Take that dressing out there for me, baby. Yeah. Is it getting hot? Yes, it is. Oh. I want you to put broth on it. Thelma Turner was a dynamo. Why are you back here? Go out front, please. A woman of action, faith, and family who every year led an effort to feed thousands at Thanksgiving. The meals prepared in the Watkins Family Center in Indianapolis, and in the early years, they were done in her kitchen. I don't know why you got these raw turkeys in front of me. <laughs> I'm ready to cook them. Thelma and her husband Robert were quite a team. Father God, we thank you for this beautiful day that you made for us. Father God, we pray that you bless this food. Papa Turner, or Uncle Robert, as many called him, died in 2010. The past five years for Thelma were tough without her life partner, and kidney failure was not common. Despite that, she found her joy among her neighbors and family. Thelma knew no strangers, and all they knew was to call the turkey lady Mama Turner. She was good for the soul. I feel blessed. I'm happy. I thank God for what he has done for me. And I, I don't have much, but what I have, Give. I'm so glad that I had a chance to meet her and tell her stories over the years. Thelma was 85 years old. She died Saturday morning. The Thanksgiving event, though, is going to move forward. Her niece, Janet Easley, is carrying on that torch, Candace, and we'll have much more on how you can volunteer or donate for that event in a couple of weeks. Beautiful story. Yeah, Very beautiful, beautiful person. Beautiful mm -hmm. person.